What's up guys, Evil Deer here, and today I want to speak about Liberland. Now I spoke about this micronation probably like a month or so ago, um, because micronations just fascinate the shit out of me. There was a time a few years ago where I was reading about like every micronation, Sealand, Hut River Province, you name them, the freaking I was researching them just because they fascinated me, the whole idea of creating a nation out of nothing. But obviously most micronations never leave the, the theoretical page, they're just on page paper or in the internet or in the minds of their, their users. So for me the biggest problem with most micronations is that they just never get to a physical stage and even if they do they kind of just sit there and stagnate which is what happened with Sealand and which is what happened with the Hutt River province. They're both, I'd basically call them both dead micronations. Um, they still exist, they're still going forward kind of but they're more just kind of in an infinite loop not really doing anything. But Liberland, that has been fascinating to watch from the perspective of looking at it as a micronation growing because it is definitely growing and I'll give massive kudos to the president of that micronation. Um, I, I totally forgot his name, how cool is that? Sorry mate. But um, I give him massive kudos because he is freaking awesome at social media. If he doesn't start a micronation, I reckon he's got a job in social media because the guy knows what he's doing when it comes to that. Every day he's got news up, every day he's meeting some important person or a made out to be important person, either or, it doesn't matter with politicians really. But he's meeting someone, he's getting photos done, he's presenting talks on the micronation and he's slowly building a pretty big hardcore gathering. So he's doing pretty freaking good. Now, I'm coming at this video or this whole micronation now with an Esperantist mind, okay? This is something that only Esperantists would ever notice. Now, when Liberland first came out, I checked out the constitution um, and what I looked at because <laughs> I'm a dirty Esperantist is languages, okay? Obviously the constitutional draft was written in English, so English was obviously established as the main language, but it also me mentioned Czech as another official co-official language, and that's obviously because the president, that's his native language, so I'm like, yeah, that's cool. And then there was a lot of Esperantists at the time saying, let's campaign to get Esperanto into the Constitution, and I'm thinking, yeah, it's probably a good time. If there's ever a time to get Esperanto recognized in a potential nation, it would be during the micronation stage, because once a country is established and everything, it's pretty hard to get Esperanto any type of official status. Um, but there's obviously other problems there because if the micronation burns and falls it makes Esperanto look bad but yeah who cares. Um, I'm just looking at this as like the feasibility type of thing. So there was no mention of Esperanto and a lot of Esperantists were campaigning for it um, but obviously not enough because now the second constitutional draft is out and there's now no mention of languages and it's just in English so I don't know if that means that Czech has now been officially removed or something or if they're just going to put it back in later but it looks like English is the way they're going. But I've noticed a problem, you see. This potential country is going to be run mainly by people who are from, Europe, uh, from European countries. Now, there may be a lot of Americans eventually coming in, but you'll look at their social media page, okay, and although it's growing and they're doing everything right that you should in social media, they're completely butchering the English language. I'm not trying to be mean here. I understand they're speaking a foreign language, which is freaking hard. I'll give them kudos for that. Well, speaking English as a non-native man, that's pretty good work, like, being able to do that. But to be honest, they are butchering it, and since you're trying to present, like, a professional image of this micronation and present it to the world. It doesn't look good when you're butchering the language. You've got, you're using articles when you shouldn't be, you're using them, or you're not using them when they should be, you know, like, and the sentences are all weird construction. Some of them I don't actually understand what they're saying, but it's, it's kind of weird. And I think if you're gonna have English as your official language, at least get an editor in there who, who's good enough at the language to make it understandable. Um, and now, most of the posts are understandable. I'm not saying they're not. Um, but they are very broken and it gives a very unprofessional image to the micronation. And I love micronations. I love watching them grow. But this made me think about something else. Regarding the Esperantists, if you guys are still out there and you're supporting Liberland, why haven't you launched a Liberland Esperanto Association? I've seen Liberland Gun Associations, Liberland freaking Settlement Associations, all these different ones. Launch a Liberland freaking Esperanto Association. That would be pretty cool. It'd be interesting to see how many people actually sign up for that. And then as an association, you might actually be able to push Esperanto somehow into this micronation. Especially if you can somehow bring some type of financing in there or potential financing. I don't know. But that's just what I'm thinking now. I love 
micro nations and I'm all I'm I'm happy to help you guys out in whatever way I can. Um, I reckon that would be pretty cool. Even if it, okay, let's just assume that Liberland just falls and burns and completely disappears. Eh, it was fun while it lasted, while it, wasn't it? It was fun pissing off the Croatian police. No, joking, we don't want to piss them off because they might shoot you. I don't know, do they have guns in Croatia? Do the police carry guns? I know they had a civil war like years and years and years back, but like, I don't know how like brutal they are compared to the American police or the Australian police. I know they've been arresting people that have been trying to settle on Liberland, um, which is kind of interesting that you've got people that are actually going out there trying to settle on it, which is pretty good because that means the president is doing his work. But now I'm just kind of segueing off. So yeah, back to the core of this. If you're going to use English as your official language, just on your Facebook page at least, your, your main Facebook page. Get it and clean it up a bit, okay? Second, if you're an Esperantist and you support Liberland, group together, man. Launch an association. The Liberland Esperanto Association. Imagine if you, imagine trying to take that one to the Universal Esperanto Association. I wonder if you would be able to officially somehow get approved. I very doubt it. I very doubt the Universal Esperanto Association would want to be recognized with the Liberland Esperanto Association. But it would be interesting to try out. Anyway, that's it. I have ran way too much in this video so if you've liked my rambling give it a like share it around with your friends subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next video and if you're not there that's because I'm assuming you've just settled in Liberland <laughs>